Hey guys, so we're gonna get right into it. This is the most realistic hitting mat I have used. I have owned a golf simulator for over two years and I play almost 36 holes a day. And I'm gonna show you how to build this thing. Now, the reason I went with this turf and I have loved this turf, it is an inch thick. So it really grabs your club really well and it holds up really well. I'll link down below where I got this turf and I had to order it in two feet of width because that's what I wanted. Um, but the minimum length, I think, was like 12 feet. So I could make four of these if I wanted to. So it ended up costing me extra because there was no minimum order size. But I ended up going with the T-line turf, and I'm in love with this thing, guys. So I think the extra cost of getting the extra turf is worth it for the realism. Now, if you want to stay with those divot action mats, they're good. I would give it a 7 out of 10. But if you want the most realistic golf simulator experience, you want to get this inch thick turf, in my opinion. So this is very simple. All you got to do, get a board of polycarbonate. I use a two foot wide by three foot long. The reason I go two foot wide is so that you can practice swing on it and it won't hurt all the turf around it and you won't rip that turf up. And then three foot long because if you have golfers that are above like a 12 handicap, they'll fat it enough where they could kind of rip that mat. So three foot long I found is very safe. Now what I'm doing right here is I am just using some clear constructive adhesive and I'm just making some lines, right? So ma making some S's. Now I probably went a little overboard with this, um, but I knew that this mat was gonna last a lot longer than those divot action mats. So I was like, okay, I just don't want any chance of it ripping up. So I put a little extra on. Now what I'm doing, I'm just laying it down with the turf just going to press it down and then now I'm just going to put some weight on it and I'll let it sit at least two hours but usually I just let it sit overnight now you just get a utility blade and all you're going to do here is just cut the seams and cut away so I used a brand new blade and that went through really easy um I think if I used one of my older braids, it might have been tough, but this was surprisingly really easy to cut through for how thick this turf was. And there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. The simplest, most realistic hitting mat I've ever used. Again, that inch of thick turf really helps well. And all you do, you just cut it to length, set it in, and you're good to go. There's no having to worry about replacing it. There's no need to worry with, you know, the thinner turf getting ripped up and you have to rip it up and glue it back down. This, they said, should last five years. Now, if it does, I don't know, but I know it will at least last a year. Now, if you're like, yeah, the green looks really bad there, what I did is I just glued the blue turf on the other side. So if I'm having people over and just want to have a nice, aesthetically pleasing look, I just use the blue turf.